universe came from a big bang, don't you, okay? I don't. Let me ask you a question, lady, okay? You name me one bang, one explosion in the whole history of humanity which has caused anything good, which has caused any order. The big bang. Well, that's one bang, okay? But that's, you can't, that's a circular argument, okay? But think about it. You go to, I, I have kids that went to that, that uh, Ariana Grande concert. And what happened there? There was a big bang there. You think of September 11th, Hiroshima. Yeah, every single bang we see. Every, Okay, over to, okay, okay, so that's fair. You said, you said to me that religion causes war. You name me one born again Christian, just one, one born again Christian who's ever killed anyone. What did Jesus say? What did the Lord Jesus Christ say, okay? Jesus said, love your enemies. Now, if all the people in America, if all the people in North Korea, if everyone in the West took Jesus' words and said, love your enemies, we'd have no wars. Jesus taught that. Okay, so, but that's not, that's, that's a completely wrong argument because we're talking about, we're talking about, we're talking about terrorism here. You tell me any born again Christian that was a terrorist. There's not. But the question is, can I, let me ask you one more question. Okay. Okay, well maybe not, maybe not. But let me ask you a question. Are you a good person? Which is, okay. Are you prepared to be a good person, Cassidy? You're brave, you're brave. You're brave, this lady. I like, what's your name, sorry? Natasha, I'm Joe. I really appreciate time. Natasha, may I ask you a question? Have you ever told lies before? Okay, you've told lies. What do you call someone who tells lies? This lady said it's a liar. I'm not, okay, not, I'm not talking about white lies, it's a liar, okay, right? Have you ever stolen anything before, Natasha? No. No, okay, good. Have you ever used God's name as a swear word before? No. You've never said, oh my God. You've never said Jesus Christ. So you've never done that. Okay, good. Right. All right. This one good. pins us all against the wall. Okay. Jesus said, you've heard it all. You shall not commit adultery. Don't cheat on your husband and wife. But I tell you, anyone who looks at someone with sexual desire has committed adultery in their heart. Who's not their husband or wife. Have you done that before, Natasha? Yeah, yeah I have, okay. I've done those things, you've done those things. But by your own admission, you've admitted to me, I'm not judging you, you've admitted to me, you're a liar and an adulterer. If God judges you by the Ten Commandments, if God judges you by the Ten Commandments, Okay, if God judges you by the Ten Commandments, Natasha, will you be innocent or guilty? Okay, well the truth is this, Jesus, 2,000 years ago, he hung on a cross for sinners. No one wants to listen to this, we've had a man who's tried to stop it. If, you, if you're an atheist going by, let me ask you a question now, okay? Someone just tried to push me off this box, okay? If there's no such thing as God, if God doesn't matter, why do people, if Jesus is real, why do people want to stop this message? Why do people want to stop it? Over to you, tell me now, why do people, I am telling you good news, that Jesus died on you because he loves you and he could give you eternal life. And people want to stop that message. I'm not preaching hate, I'm saying he loves you. But people want to stop that message. <laughs> Over to you, do you want to speak? I should say religion's a lot like a penis. It's meant to have one, but when you wave it in people's faces, it's a lot of masculine. <laughs> okay, thank you. But what I'm saying to you is, tell me now, if there's anyone who's got more hope, then speak to me. But well, someone's just tried to push me off the box for preaching the gospel. Jesus said, you'll be hated without a reason. If they hated me, they'll hate you also. And I know there's a lot of people standing here who hate me, who don't like me. But I'm telling you that Jesus loves you, and he died on a cross for you, and he wants you in heaven with you. And if you ignore this great salvation, then what can I say to you? If you, there's a drowning man who's there, and he's saying, I'm quite content, I'm not going to take this life for him. He can't help you, he can't save you. But I'm telling you he loves you. Will you please think about these things? I'm going to finish now with one final challenge, okay? One final challenge for the atheist. What would you think of me if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What would you think of me? Bravo! Okay, okay. What if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me? I didn't finish and I'll find out. Good, thank you.
Don't say the Bible that, is a that was the word that someone gave. I'm going to give you a portion of the Bible for yeah, free. That, that's if anyone wants right. to, you can have it free now. Take it from my hand and read it. God Let me ask you a question. God bless you. Somebody's Take driving towards the edge of the cliff. Oh, I've heard all the analogies, trust me. Yeah. I, got, I got told that I was going to be, that I am, I'm viewed as a person in a burning building. I'm 